Hello and welcome to week six in Introduction to Sociology. It's Monday and we'll be, we will be meeting tomorrow to discuss deviance and social control. Now, deviance here is uh, first off we're going to be looking we're going to be looking at two ways in thinking in which things are deviant. We could be deviant in a negative way. Obviously, we're breaking the rules, stepping outside of social norms to our group. But we can also be deviant in positive ways. We could be an extra achiever. We could be abnormally intelligent. We could do, uh, you know, more than our share of good deeds in the world. Those kinds of things. Both ways in which we use the word deviant. But then we're going to look at how groups have a process of social control and describing that mechanism by which groups maintain adherence to the social norms of that group, the mechanisms that are built in there. And we'll be discussing some personal experiences with that. So there's a quiz to go along with that. On Thursday, we're going to be meeting, taking on the next chapter, Media and Technology. We've been talking about that sort of all along. We'll spend some time focused in that particular area and also a quiz associated with that. Now, the other thing that I want to talk about, uh, two other things, I'll get the, the short one out before, and that is your proposals. We are a little bit more than a third way through the class, and I believe that you should be really close to deciding upon and beginning working on your final project proposal, or your final project, the first part of which is the proposal. I have only heard from two of you regarding uh, an information literacy paper. If you have a service learning project lined up, do the proposal. That's a required component. There's a quiz, it's described in the course book, and there's a quiz online where you have to propose. I need to okay your service learning before you start doing it. And I need to go through the process as those who have submitted the information literacy project, I give feedback and you don't usually, people usually don't get a hundred on the first try. And so, opportunity for me to help you through that quiz to come up with a good topic for you to do research on. Special assignment number two is actually due this week. We spent the class talking about sources of information. Now this is a paper that you're writing where you're going to take a single topic and you're going, to dis you're going to find resources. It's a, it's a critical thinking assignment comparing different sources of information. That's the goal of this particular assignment. So the first source is a YouTube or a website or a blog or something like that discussing the topic. The second one is a newspaper. Part that's the easiest one. Look up Kennebec Journal any main newspaper, New York Times, Great Way, you know, all look, look up these, uh, look up to get a, a newspaper article, again, that's one shift higher, we're, we're presuming, and then the third one, you're looking up, you're using our library to locate a peer-reviewed journal. This is a research project that's been done on that particular topic. Now there's a whole list of topics I give you within the, within the course book, and then you have to find a, you know, let's say a YouTube video, a newspaper article, and a research article on that one topic, talking about pretty much the same topic. And then you're doing an analysis as to the validity and reliability and, and usefulness of each one of them. The YouTube ones, I'm not making a point that YouTube and uh, articles uh, from the newspaper are not useful. They are incredibly useful to kind of pare down and make some of the data that we get in a research uh, paper more accept more palatable. We can actually understand it. Research papers are difficult to understand. So these are all important sources of media, but I'm having you do a comparative analysis. That is due this week. So that, that's not an, a project for the end of the class. That is due this coming Sunday. Make sure that you get, pro, get started on that. I, of course, will be reiterating this when we meet tomorrow. But uh, get started on that article. Uh, get started on picking your topic and start finding those three resources. So we can talk more about that, but hey, get started now.
uh, but I expect those to be handed in by the end of the week. So that is our week, and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow, and I hope you have a great week.